Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to go over what happens if you press the emergency SOS on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you hold down the power and the volume up button, it will pop up with this option to have emergency SOS. Now, if you slide that over to the right, a few different things happen. And Apple has a great article on exactly what happens that I'm going to walk you through. So here's how it works. It says when you make that emergency SOS call, it calls the emergency number in your local area. So that might be the police department or depending on where you are, the fire department or ambulance. It also sends a message to any of your emergency contacts on your phone and it turns on your location on your iPhone for a while so that any of those emergency vehicles or ambulances or police can find exactly where you are. So it calls the police department, it sends out your location signal, and it sends a message to all of your emergency contacts. Now, if you scroll down, if you continue to press and hold that side button and the power on button, then it will, that emergency SOS slider will appear and start counting down. You can see here it counts down to four and then five, and then it will automatically call that emergency service. Of course, if you accidentally do this, you didn't mean to press that emergency SOS call. Of course, you can scroll down here and it gives you the option to end that call. So you can end the call with the police department or ambulance or whatever it is. And you can turn off that emergency SOS if it was accidentally made. Of course, it might like go through and you're on the phone with some kind of dispatcher from the police. And then you can explain at that point that you did not mean to call them and they'll just ignore it. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.